Today on Moving Day, two recent graduates are leaving home and moving in together. Dad, how do you feel about all the drafts going and your daughter? It'll be wonderful. But how will they cope without mum and dad to look after them? I think you're a bit spoiled, aren't you? <laughs> You've been spoiled. No, I'm not spoiled. Oh, don't say that. Please don't say that. to moving day. Today I'm in lovely sunny Berkshire to meet a 22 year old girl who's on the brink of leaving home. And I'm in Woodley Berkshire to meet a friend who's leaving family life behind her as well. Oh yes and in a bid for their freedom and their independence both girls are getting ready to move in together tomorrow. So if we're going to help them get ready for the move there's no time to waste. Let's get involved. Meet Claire. She's just graduated from university and is about to start her first job as a pharmacist in the Royal Berkshire Hospital. Friend Lorraine has just finished her pharmacy degree too and is about to start work at the same hospital. Both girls are back at home living with their parents but they've got itchy feet. So the time has come to take the plunge and swap the comforts of home for life in this two up two down rented terrace in central Reading. Later we'll be helping them move into the new place, but for now we're on hand to help them move out. Oh, hi Sally. Hello. I'm Nick, I'm Claire's dad. Very mm. pleased to meet you. Lovely to meet you. You've come take our beautiful daughter away. Hi. Lorraine, how, how are you? How are you? I'm fine. Very well, thank you. you. Yes, Brilliant. excellent. Get along. Yeah, lovely. Well, hello there. Good morning to you. My wife, Mary. Mary, nice to meet you. Hi. Claire, how are you? Good, thanks. Good stuff. Big move tomorrow then? Yeah, yeah, I'm really excited. I'm not surprised. Listen, how could you leave such a beautiful house? It's gorgeous here. Yeah, I've lived here all my life and I've really loved it here, but I was coming back from uni and I'm just used to my independence and want to live in town centre and things like that. Because so. you're in the middle of nowhere here. We're kind of in the country, aren't we? Yeah. Well, this seems very, very nice. Nice big house. A cup of tea, Dad. Is this Dad? Yes. Hello, Hi, I'm Daddy. Gavin. Tea? Yes, nice to meet you, sir. You Hi, must Gavin. be Derek. That's right. Right, um, there you go. well, are you sure you're making the right decision leaving this lovely place behind you? Um, Thank you very much. I hope so. Yes, I want to I want to be a bit independent. Can I have my normal cup, please, Dad? Oh, oh normal cup as well already they've started. Sorry. The giraffe theme. I noticed yes. the shoes yeah, on the do way you want in. My slippers? I didn't want to say anything, <laughs> but this is a bit of a yeah. theme going yes. on. I love giraffes. You I've love got giraffes. giraffes everywhere and they've all got to go into the new house somewhere, I'm hoping anyway. I've got big five foot giraffes, little giraffes, giraffe backpack, everything. What about Mum and Dad? How do you feel about Claire leaving? Well, obviously, we'll be sorry to see her go, but, um, you know, things move on. Um, she's not going to be that far away, and uh, we'll be able to see her, you know, quite easily. Dad, how do you feel about all the drafts going and your daughter? It'll be wonderful. <laughs> it's sad. No, I have to be honest. It's sad to see her going, but uh, to have the house to ourselves again, it'll be really good. My wallet will feel like it's... Uh, after looking after her for 23 years, it's had a good rest. Mm -hmm. And what about you, young lady? Are you all set? Are you ready for this move? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> How bad is the packing? Well, I've, I've been so busy since finishing my degree. I've been doing some travelling and seeing my boyfriend in Cardiff. So. Well, who's the boyfriend? What's his name? His name's Dave. Dave. Obviously, he features a lot in your life. Maybe is that one of the reasons why you're looking to move into a new place in your own? Yeah, yeah. I mean, obviously, the, t the time that we'll only have together now is at weekends because he's in Cardiff and... I'm, I'm down here, so uh, we'll get some time together at the weekends um, and, yeah, I mean, without distractions with parents. So it's kind of like moving forward to responsibility, to adulthood. Proper, going to be a proper grown-up now. I want, I want to move out, though. I want to have my own independence now. I mean, I'm grateful for my parents and everything for looking after me for all this time, but now's the time for me to move out, stand on my own two feet and uh, get on with my life. Sally, this is my room. Oh, Claire, it's beautiful. It's really lovely. How long has this room looked like this for? A long time. It's I beautiful. think this was decorated when I was about 13. I think you're a bit spoiled, aren't you? <laughs> You've been spoiled. No, I'm not. <laughs> oh, don't say that. Please don't say that. This is my room. Right. Obvious yeah. differences between this and the new room? Yes. Won't be so childish. That bed is um, 
the bed I've had since I think I moved out of a cot when I was about three. <laughs> so it's quite narrow. It'll be nice to be able to sprawl. Ooh. Oh, oh, no, don't look at that. Oh, no. Look, is that the boyfriend? Yeah, I don't like that picture. You I can't can I see just that say, one. he has got, well, I have to say, he Gorgeous has got eyes. the most beautiful eyes. All the drafts coming with you, drafts the wooden ones there. Go. Yes. It's a lot definitely. of stuff, you know. I know. And you're worried about obviously overspilling into the rest of the house and yes. taking up Claire's space. Yes. So I think a massive decluttering session is what we yes, need. Definitely. Very good idea. Sort these out, send them to a good cause. Yep. Um, anything here? Yep. Get rid of my junk, my childhood stuff that I don't need anymore. I'll be letting Lorraine know <laughs> if I think if I think some tidying up needs to be done. But I don't. I, I think she's going to be tidy. I think it's going to be fine. The hardest thing to do when decluttering is deciding what to do with the stuff you've got. This makes it easy. Three categories. Trash it, stuff you want to throw away. Trade it, stuff that's worth something to somebody, so all those cuddly toys would fit into this little category, and take it. Now, this is the bare essentials, the things you really need to take with you. And to speed the process up somewhat, I'm going to supervise here. Lorraine can sort out exactly what she wants to go into which pile, and Mum and Dad can run everything backwards and forwards from the house. It's going to be a very, very easy morning. How are you getting on, Sally? Now, what is all this stuff here? Um, well, all this stuff is pretty much what I've dumped here from uni. Uh, various books, cutlery, um, toasters, everything like that. Right, so you basically came back from university and went, right, just stash yeah. it here. <laughs> ah, Lorraine, the first things for me then. What yes. have we got here? Old childhood drawings can definitely be trashed. Right, that's trash it. What else have we got? Howdy, partner. What's this, a collection of party hats? Yes. Well, this, see? I had this when I went out of my 20th birthday on a pub crawl. You never know when you might need to go out in a Biggles flying hat. Yeah, I mean, that keeps me ears warm in winter. Where are you going to put him, then, the new house? Always, he always sits on my bed. He's Waits really for me cute. to come home. <laughs> but what about the, the boyfriends there? Does he stay on the bed, or does he yeah. get hidden? No, no, he stays in the bed. <sighs> my vibrating giraffe. That's you never got know to come. When... You never know when you might need a vibrating giraffe. That's very true. So I can see now. a pattern developing. All the giraffes you're keeping. What about the rest yes. of the little toys? Here? Um, other toys can go. Oh, look, he's really up. <laughs> I'm really upset. <laughs> loads of bags, girl. You haven't got enough days in a year to wear them all. <laughs> it's quite sweet. That's really cute, isn't it? I really like that, don't I? <laughs> you want to keep that? Yeah. Oh, that's a shame. <laughs> I thought you might go kind of trade yeah, it, like it's sort of sneak it away. So you can carry on with that lot. Yep. <sighs> Tell you what, your daughter's not that well organised, I have to say. No, but she's... Just typical of young people these days. You know you're going to get the phone call. Dad, oh. can you help us out with this? Can you help us out with that? Yes, and she'll be back for Sunday lunch. She can't help but have her Sunday roast. She loves that. So, uh, oh, right, yes. keen on a roast, yes. is she? Yes. Perhaps we can even sell this house and go and live somewhere a bit smaller. Yeah. She'll be going and getting on with the rest of her life, and it's up to us to get on with the rest of our lives. And Lorraine's going to have to get on with her life without her cuddly toys. But they should make someone very happy. Hi. Hi there. Is that for us? It is, yes. Nice. That's lovely. Thanks ever so much. Bit of a massive room clearance. Oh, that's lovely. Anything saleable will waste bad to get. A smash in. OK, then. Thanks, well, thanks I'll so pop much. that around the back for you. Thank you. Lorraine's done her good deed for the day, and now it's time to meet up with the others to check out the house they're renting. Come on, Princess, we're here. Lovely, thank you. Oh, hello, Hi. girls. Here comes trouble. Hi. Hello. hello. How, are you? How are you? Good, thank Isn't you. Good. Good. Hello. 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 Lorraine, how are you? All right, nice to meet you. Lorraine and Claire's new home is right in the centre of Reading. When the girls first saw the house, it looked a bit shabby, but the landlord promised to spruce it up. Let's hope he's been true to his word. Oh, there's a house. I'm really excited. I can't believe it. <laughs> it's so cute. It's lovely. Hey, oh, this yeah. is quite nice funky. Oh. <laughs> They've left fresh flowers for you. Oh, yes. Oh, that's they even fantastic. match the pillows. Yeah. Second pink is quite that funky. Oh, I'm so excited. It's lush. Oh, I want to hug you and get excited, isn't it? Great. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, come on. <laughs> Wow, this is really nice. Wow. It's very gorgeous, isn't it? Oh, it's really changed a lot since we came yeah, out. I know. So, God, do you have any of, any of this? Of well, look, we have got lots of work to do. Should we have a look at the inventory? Yes. Lorraine, why don't you and I do downstairs and perhaps you can do maybe through there somewhere? OK, well, then we'll do the front room. Good luck. So, that means you get the kitchen, that's harder. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> where should we start? Oh, two pictures of cakes and wooden frames. I see one. Fairy cake, two. OK, and tip. Two large wooden shelves. <laughs> Everything that's them. 
Six white shelves in the alcoves. That'll be those over there. Yeah, check. Four pink scatter cushions. Yeah. Says here they're clean. Check. check them out. Are they? Have a look. Yeah, that looks lovely. And microwave with push button controls, opening door, inner glass plate. Check. Have you checked the plate? No. Quickly? Yes. Go through any inventory thoroughly, check. as many a deposit has been lost when it comes to moving out. And don't forget to check what condition all the items are in. OK, TV unit. Have a little look yep. at that. Check. It says here, light wear marks on the top. Apart from that, right. Where's the TV? It doesn't say TV here. Have we got a TV? No. That's not good, is it? You're going to need a TV. Hmm, that gives me an idea for a housewarming present. With everything in order and the house looking nicely decked out, I have to say the landlord's kept his side of the bargain. So what do you reckon, Sal? Good move or bad move? I think this is an excellent move for both girls. They're taking their first real steps towards independence. And as from tomorrow, the apron strings will be cut forever. And what a fab house to move into for their first house. Really nice mm. decor, great location. One of the main streets in Reading, just at the end of the road. Superb local amenities, they're going to love the house. What slightly concerns me, Gavin, is your organisational skills. Will Lorraine be ready for the off tomorrow? Sal, I'm quietly confident everything is ready. Only time will tell. Hmm. Actually, it's Claire who's struggling with her packing. Yeah. While Lorraine is taking it easy with mum and dad on her last night at home. Cheers. Cheers. Um, going back to the house today it was brilliant because um, we only saw it the, from the first viewing and it's changed a lot, all for the better, so I'm really, really pleased. I um, think it looks terrific. Can't wait to get all my stuff there and really start settling in properly. I am really excited about moving in. I'm also a bit nervous because it's actually a proper house now. It's not a student house. I can just keep running back home again. Um, I'm really, really looking forward to it. I'm really excited. My face, be careful. Coming up, Claire's boyfriend Dave drops by to help with the move. You do some serious damage. <laughs> and you know probably from experience. But is he going to be impressed with the girl's new pad? So Dave, what do you think of the house? Well, nice little... garden at least. Uh... It's moving day morning here in the village of Woodley for Lorraine, who's leaving the family nest for good. And I'm also in Berkshire, where housemaid to be Claire is getting set to leave her lifetime family home and views like this. She must be mad. Morning. Morning. Hello. Hey, how, are you? how are you? Very well. Good, how was good. your night? Not too bad. I've got everything from all over the house. Put it all in the dining room so you can give me a hand. You've done half the work yep. already. Hey, moving day girl. Hi, how morning. are you? Really good, good morning. Thanks. You? Very well. You're looking radiant and in control <laughs> this morning. Yeah, I hope so. Yeah, it seems to be coming together well, so... <laughs> and look, you've got a little helper. Yeah. Little Maggie's come to help. OK, so this is all my stuff that I've got. I've got some of my giraffe things. Um, could you give me a hand, please, putting up that shelving unit to put my books on? Flat pack shelving? Yes. I'm glad you haven't assembled it now. It makes it easy to fit no, in the car. No. And life should be easier for me and Claire now that Claire's Welsh boyfriend Dave has turned up. Dave, hi! <laughs> How are you doing? You alright? Yeah, lovely, thanks. You alright? <laughs> yeah, good, thanks. Yeah. Lovely to meet you, nice Sally. Hi, Sally. How's Heard it all about you, and I've seen your picture, and good news is you're measuring up just fine in the flat. <laughs> well, I'm thinking, let's get the boxy stuff way back wedged out there. That's good. Hey guys, I've got some stuff. Catch, catching. <laughs> oh! Hello. What um, is my this? Face. Be very careful, or there'll be trouble. Oh! God! Head! <laughs> Heads, I know, look at that. You do some serious damage. Here, <laughs> and you know probably from experience. Right, look, shall I carry them? Because these are very special boots. Oh, yes, Ooh. muscles are coming out. Oh, looking good. <laughs> Feeling good. Got <laughs> We're also using Lorraine's car to shift all her stuff over to the new place. It's going to be a tight squeeze, just as well she's got a sunroof. Do you want to get out as well? <laughs> yeah, could you just do it all, please? I'll yeah. just sit back and relax. So, Lorraine, it's time to say goodbye to your bedroom. Yes, it's looking very empty now, actually. Quite spartan, isn't it? Yes, I've uh, had this room, well, for quite a few years now, and it's been my dumping ground for quite Since a long time. six. Yes, and uh, now I'm, I'm going to have to dump it all in the new house. What about your little teddy bear? Are you going to take him? He can stay here. He's always stayed here, so... So he's going to keep gonna... watch of the room? <laughs> yeah. To make sure that nobody doesn't get turned into guest bedroom? Yeah, anything? definitely. <laughs> Protect the bed. <laughs> Now, this is the big question. Do you think there'll be tears as you pull off the driveway? Um, yes. From you or from Mum? No, from Mum. You think so? Mm. 
Mm. And then if she starts crying, then they'll probably set me off. I'm really sorry to lose you. Oh, I'll be back soon, is it? <laughs> <laughs> okay. See you, Dad. Bye, Take care. Bye, Keep in touch. <laughs> <laughs> See you later. I did get one thing for you, though. So, so. Oh, thank you. They're looking after me. <laughs> bye bye, Carl. Bye. Both Lorraine and Claire are saying goodbye to free board and lodgings at their parents' houses. Their newfound independence in the form of this two-bedroom terrace house comes at a cost, though. £725 a month, to be exact. Right, where's this lot going? It's going to go upstairs into my room. It's good size, isn't it? Yeah, it's very nice. A bit lighter than the other one, loads of storage. It's very green, Claire, isn't it? Oh, oh, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Stuff down. A bit it's overpowering, maybe. What do you think? Are you liking your room? You've got a nice view to the garden. Oh, yeah, it's lovely. Not so keen on the colour, but something can be done about that. A few ferrying trips to the cars means the girls can start getting everything looking nice and homely. So, Dave, what do you think of the house? Oh, very cosy, Claire, very cosy. Nice yeah. view. Hopefully well, nice we'll garden at least. Uh, all the booze. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Lorraine, look at this. Fresh virgin softwood. Now, a good thing about these is um, because it's a completely untreated wood, mm -hmm. that if you do uh, decide to take this with you, if you ever get your own place or want to decorate it, yeah. um, it's very easy to paint. You can use normal gloss, eggshell and stuff all like right. that. Oh. We can just do that. They're also incredibly easy to put together. And at about 15 quid, they're a cheap storage solution too. The girl's garden is looking OK, but it could definitely do with a splash of colour. And I don't like the fact that neighbours can peer straight into their seating area. So I've nipped down to the local garden centre to see what I can dig out. Right, what I'm looking for is some nice tall shrubs to give the girls a little bit of privacy between their property and the two on either side. And I've just spotted this, perfect. This is Red Robin. I was gonna buy some of these for myself the other day. These are fantastic. They're evergreen, they're durable, and they've got these little colorful leaves that look really pretty, and they're nice and tall. So I'm definitely gonna take a couple of these. I want to add a splash of colour to the raised levels just above where the seating area is in the garden and I think Busy Lizzie's are really going to do the trick because they look fabulous and they're dead cheap, £3.75 a pot. So I'm going to go crazy and take quite a few. I'm going to get busy with Lizzie. Just a few pots and some colourful candles for the finishing touches. That should do the job. Just put it on there. Yep. Uh -huh. It's a bit tight here. There we go. Lovely. Fantastic. Right, all the plants are back safely in their new home. They're looking very happy. But this is where the fun begins. Now I've got to try and work out where I'm going to position them all. So, really, it's a bit of trial and error. Let's go. The girls are a little worried about security at the house and have asked me if I can help. Firstly, we've got this sliding bolt which can go anywhere on the door and basically you just open it up like so into its little housing and just gives a little bit of extra protection. This is kind of like a deadbolt once you're actually into the house. Now this just fits onto the side of your door frame like so, screws in. Then you have the other part which fixes onto your door and the chain just goes through there so you can open the door up to maybe 10 inches like so. These locks are a simple and secure solution for the girls. And better still, there's no need to call out a locksmith. By the end of the day, we've done well. All the rooms are really starting to take shape. I just hope Sally has done as well in the garden. All right, girls, come and have a look. What I've decided to do is make a main feature out of your seating area. 
What we have oh. down here is some lovely little busy lizzies. Oh, it looks really nice. Yeah, that's look really pretty. Yeah. We'll have dinner out here then. Can't yeah, we? yeah, yeah, that'd be lovely. Quite a romantic little area back here for <laughs> those with yeah. boyfriends. Yeah. <laughs> right, oh, listen, that's the all girls, because your main housewarming gift is this way. Oh, Do you well, want oh, to come yeah. through? Thank Get you. Get excited yeah. to see what's happening oh. back mm -hmm. in the house. Oh, get it ready. Ooh. After the three, Gavin. Guess what it is. <laughs> One, two, two three. Oh, oh my God. Happy with that. Good. Wow. I'm very happy with that. Fantastic. The biggest that one you can get awesome. to go on your original stand. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we have the best shoot ready. OK, nobody lost any eyes. Everything is fine. Cheers. Cheers, Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. Welcome to your new home, yes. girls. We have you. many happy years. Yes. With you. Thank you so much for your help. It's been yeah. fantastic. And I hope the lodges yeah, are fine. I know exactly. How long have you been here for? It's been brilliant. Thank, Thank you. you very much, my Always going tonight. Were you getting a special note of thanks there, Gavin? I was, my friend <laughs> Lorraine. Well, that's it from today's moving day here in Reading. Now, if you're about to move house, then guess what? We have got a website all set up to help you on your way. It is itv.com slash moving day. I've got lots of tips there to help you have a smooth move. So from Lorraine, Claire, Dave, Sally and myself, cheerio! Goodbye! Bye. 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 Since moving day, Lorraine and Claire have settled in well to their new pharmacy jobs and are enjoying the convenience and comfort of their city centre flat.